What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Justin Falls. We back at it again with another video, and it's here. We officially got the Nitro deck from Cracked. All right, so um, we got an extensive video to go through here. I'm loving this device. I'm glad I purchased it. It was eighty nine ninety nine on the website. Y'all can go ahead and go on the website and get your own. This is the limited edition one. It came with a um, it came with a case. Hold on. It came with this here case with the straps on it. Like, this is a pretty, you know what I'm saying? Pretty premium case. So you open this up, and it's it's kind of like the Steam Deck case. It's like it's it has grooves to fit the uh, device. It has, like, a little pouch so that you can fit your little games in there. It has a braided cable. I wasn't expecting the braided cable. I'm not going to lie. I'm not gonna I wasn't expecting the braided cable. And replacement thumbstick. These are Hall Effects sensors they, they come off we're going to talk about that a little bit later in the video and this is just a very premium experience other than that they have the regular colors that'll be out all, all along they have like black white um you'll see on the website and those are 60 dollars. but if you want the premium one and the limited edition one they have any they have like a super nes one they have this gamecube one and they have another one so you can you can get that one for 89.99 or the regular one 59.99 so um I ain't gonna waste no more of y'all time. Here we go. The Nitro Deck from Cracked. All right, so here it is. The Nitro Deck from Cracked. I'm excited. I got this in the mail a few days ago. Finally got to sit down and at least do this part of the video. So we're gonna unbox it. I got the limited edition Nintendo Color Controller one, as you can see. And it says start here up there. I guess to uh, see how you set it up. But we're going to forego that for a second, and we're going to just look directly at the product. So here is the case that it comes with, the limited edition case. And here is the strap for it that I'll probably never use because this is probably, whenever I do carry with me, it's going to be thrown inside of a bag. And let's open this bad boy up. Let's go. Here goes the hooks for the, for the, um, for the strap that they give you. And here it is. Ooh, look at that. The Nitro Deck from Cracked. Here you have this nice plush case. It comes with it comes with um some caps. Like I think these caps pull off. Yeah. You can just pull these caps off. That took like no effort. These are Hall Effect sensor sticks. This is the new technology that, that all the new devices are coming out with. Even Nintendo has planned on it. It comes with a microfiber cloth. It comes with the charging cable. And here, I don't even really want to take it out yet. That's a long charging cable, though, I can tell you that much. And then you have the actual Nitro deck. Here it is. It's very lightweight, obviously, because the switch is not in here yet. But on its own, it's not. It's very lightweight. I expected it to be a little bit more heavy, but it's not. And then it says important, before attaching to the switch, the Nitro deck open switch console settings and turn on switch pro controller wired connection. From the switch home menu, select settings, controllers, the senses and turn off pro controller wired communication. So we're gonna do that in a second. These buttons feel really good. I'm not gonna lie, these buttons feel really good. This feels well constructed. You got the programmable buttons on the back. And as far as where your hands sit, it's gonna sit over the button, but it's gonna take some actual force to press it in. And here you go, here you go with the uh the top buttons. You see, it's kinda it kinda has a Thicker profile than the um, than the Joy Cons have. We're gonna do the compare. We're gonna do that comparison in a little bit after I set up the switch. And then you here you have this little stand, this little kickstand in the back. I think you just pull it out. I don't, don't want to break nothing. Yeah, you just pull it out and it can stand up on its own. And you can play. You can play with another control, a pro controller if you want. This is the programmable button. You press this button. The program buttons on the back. I don't. I forgot. I don't know what this button does, but this is your start. You just select A, B, X, Y, in in a switch format. So this thing is dope. Very well constructed. Very rigid. I'm doing the little bend test. It's not really given like that. I love how big these buttons are, coming from the <laughs> the switch. I was gonna get the Hori split pad and just call it a day, but when I saw this was coming out, I was like, Nah, I gotta cop this. I gotta cop this. So. We're going to take a minute and get our switch set up, and then we'll do a comparison. All right, so what you want to do when you go on your switch, you want to go to system settings, 
you want to go down to where it says controllers and sensors and then you're going to go to pro wired pro controller wired communication and it's going to give you the little message about the nfc functionality so you can't use like amiibos and things like that and you got to take out your charging cable obviously but you know we're not we're not worried about that right now we're trying to get this nitro deck working so you turn it on and then now we're going to go ahead and set it up on the uh, nitro deck real quick before we set it up i want to do a little quick size comparison as you can see like the thickness way thicker on the nitro deck side so you have something to actually hold on to i know people who talk about the hori split pad is cheaper but this i feel like provides a this is going to provide like a near steam deck experience for your nintendo switch so let's go ahead and put our switch inside of this nitro deck all right so boom here we go we're going to insert the super fingerprinted <laughs> nintendo switch in there i'm gonna see how easy it is to slide in there they said it's easy to slide in harder to take out it dropped right in there with with a minimal effort um let me see as far as taking it out i know you have to oh no, here it goes you gotta um pull this lever down i oh know you gotta push this lever up and then pull the switch out well that's minimal effort i feel like people dragged it like they, they said oh it's hard to pull out no it's not that was very easy i put minimal force into that now, Grant, the only thing y'all worry about is, is, is fingerprints, but that's nothing a, uh, a little cloth, you know, a little cloth won't solve, you know? I think people drag shit too much. Let me see. Let me see. I think this thing needs to get charged because it's not reacting to any buttons I'm pressing. So we're going to go ahead and charge it, and we'll be right back. Okay, before we get to the gameplay, let's go over a few things. So now that the uh switch is safely slotted in um we can see that we can we can go down here and we can calibrate this the the sticks if you want calibrate the buttons cal you know do all of that uh whatever you'd like but i saw this cool feature where you can have your crack product added to the app there's a cracked app there's a rfid plate on the back of here so we're going to just tap that on there we're going to swipe the phone on here, I think it's on the back. Hold on, let me try it this way. Hold on, hold on. There we go. There we go. So there we go. So we got our we got our um exclusive edition um nitro deck here, and it says reveal. Take pictures of audio while using the app. While using the app only. While using the app. Start recording or casting. What crack? What what is? Oh snap. I don't know what this is about, but hi y'all. <laughs> Let's see me in the back. I don't know what this number means, to be honest. Uh-huh. Look at that. Look at that. You get all the st stats and statistics, and you get to register the product. Um, I'm going to just send it to myself, I guess. I don't know. Okay, and then it gives you some more info, more info about the Nitro Deck, if you would like. I got number 9,045 out of 18,000 so far. So, that's pretty cool. You get a nice little digital collection. I don't see myself buying another one of these things, but that's, that's kind of cool. And since we're on the back of the device anyway, on the left you see here is for input. That's for uh, charging. That has pass-through charging. And then on the right is for your uh, wired controller connection. You could also use this as a wired controller both on your Switch and on your computer. So what you have to do is plug it in. You have to take this out, put it back into your Switch dock, and then hold L, L1, L3 for three seconds. And then this button will turn on to let you know that it's in handheld mode. So right now what we can do is we could turn it to... Um, to handheld controller mode. So we're gonna hold it for three seconds. Now it's orange. Now it won't work. You see it's not working, right? So we're gonna put we're gonna dock this back inside the um inside the switch. We're gonna plug this in and then we're gonna um show you some gameplay off the off the TV using this as a wired controller. Alright so as you can see 
I can control my system as I would with any other pro controller. We could jump into a we could jump into a little little game real quick. I think we was playing Mario last, so we could we could jump into some Mario. Rabbit Sparks of Hope. Y'all can add me on. Y'all can add me on. Listen, this switch. I put I put my friend code up. But here's you can here's you can see the controller feels good even without the switch in it. It takes away that heft that you would recognize from a controller, but it doesn't feel weird or anything like that. It just feels like any other regular controller that you would hold in your in your hand to be honest um it has to be wired again and then you see the but the button is lit up orange i don't know if you can see that very well because of the glare from the sunlight but yeah it is orange if i wanted to change it back to um handheld mode i would have to hold these buttons for three seconds and then this button would turn white and i'd have to take the switch out the dock and put it in here so i'm gonna look to get into a, a fight so i could you know really test it out i forgot how you sprint Oh, you hold, uh, you hold X, you hold X to sprint. I'm looking for, an, I'm, I'm basically looking for, basically looking for an enemy to fight. There we go. We're gonna fight this. We're gonna fight this big rabbit, rabbit piggy thing. Oh, you hit me first. Fuck. We're gonna do a little battle real quick, just to get a feel for it. And as you can see on the inside, there's this little texture here to keep the uh, switch snug. It's like a it's like a matte finish and then like a gloss kind of finish at the same time. Like, well, mixed in together. This part is like matte. This part is... I don't know if you can see that swirl pattern. I don't know if it's coming through that good on the camera. There we go. There's like a matte finish and there's like a smoother finish. Just to keep it snug. And then you have the little divot for the... To take out your... Take out the game and whatnot. Um, this should be a little quick battle. I love tactical RPGs. Like, that's, that's my shit, so... You know, I'm more than ecstatic to be playing this right now after not playing it for a while. I critted on that. Then we're going to buff our defense. We're going to buff our defense because just in case we get hit. Now we get to change to... Let's go to Peach because I think Peach has the long range. So she can hit this. She can hit this guy down here. Okay. She got the shoddy. Ah. I should put in work. And then we have Mario down here. He has the long. He has the blasters. That hit that, that music is epic. I ain't gonna lie. Let's 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 take him out. Oh no, that's not that's gonna do nothing. That might break his cover though. There we go. And now I think it's gonna be the enemy's turn, but they won't be able to do nothing to us. I'm I'm an expert at this game already. They can't do nothing to us. Let's go. Now watch how watch how dirty I do him. Watch how dirty I do him. Watch this. Watch. Next turn. As soon as you move. Stupid. Critical. And we leveling up. We leveling up. Boom. So that's how that's how it goes. Let me see. I'm, I'm trying to see what these buttons down here do. I heard this one of these is like a turbo button. Oh, that's to capture screenshots. Now the crack button is your okay. It's your home button. When you press the crack button, it's your home button, and this button's for uh, capture. So that that felt that felt really good. That, that felt really good. Um, I would definitely use this as a controller for anything, on PC or or for my Switch or for Xbox or whatever. Because these buttons are really well constructed. It's Hall Effect. It's Hall Effect. Um, analog six. You don't have to worry about. Um, you don't have to sit there and worry about your control against stick just you can go as hard as you want go crazy you know you can calibrate the you can again you can you can go in here and you can you can calibrate the sticks if you want you know i i feel like this is a match made in heaven this was a good, great product made by uh cracked 
So uh, now we're going to move on to my uh, final thoughts. And there you have it. That was a Nitro deck from Cracked. Um, I'm, like I said in the video, I'm loving this device. This was a great purchase. I'm happy about this purchase. It has a lot of features. It even has like even if you're in the collectibles, I know EFTs are basically worth nothing now. But if you like digital collectibles, you have an app where you can sign it in and all that. I really like that little cool feature. I love how the buttons are like, man, like this is just a great purchase. And I um I recommend this to anybody. Um, if you um are into taking your your switch into more portable places and having a more sturdy experience i would say definitely cop this like because i often play my switch in handheld mode i rarely play it in the dock mode only time i have it in the dock is to charge the um the switch and the controller so this is a perfect purchase for me it even fits the, i didn't mention this earlier in the video but it does fit the oled one too it fits the oled one perfect and it calibrates the same way like how i showed y'all how to go into the menus and stuff and calibrate it and whatnot so i would definitely say it's worth a purchase it costs the same amount that you would pay for a game for the regular one and then for this for the special edition it costs the same amount you would play for a collector's edition of a game comes with its own stand has the inputs and outputs you can use this as its own controller i showed y'all that as well and that was and that was a dope experience man like you you like if you play if you preferably like to play your uh switch and hand home like i said definitely cop one of these bad boys like for real it gives it gives you almost an almost a steam deck level experience as far as like portability and comfort you know it's not these 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 controllers are not as uh big as and wide as the steam deck ones and and but it has a nice ergonomic groove and ergonomic feel to it i like the displaced analog sticks i'm probably repeating myself for early in the video but I'm, I'm just really excited about this purchase this is probably i'm gonna be honest this is probably one of the best purchases i've made all year as far as um gaming goes like as far as gaming goes because you know this is the gaming channel i have plenty of other things to other things on the channel that you can look at that i've purchased over the years since i started this channel but this is like top of the top like even more so i would say even as much or as more so than than the actual rg ally or the actual um steam deck so yeah i definitely recommend this for me if this was if this was a review i guess you can call it a review <laughs> um this would be a 10 out of 10 for me. So, yeah. So, I don't know. So, y'all let me know what y'all think. Are y'all going to get a uh, Nitro deck? Do you have one? If you do, let me know in the comments if you have a uh, Nitro deck or if you plan on getting one because you saw this video or whatever. So, um, and if you made it this far into the video, type in the comment section, hashtag Dubby Gang. Because this is this is Dubby. This is a energy drink company that I work with. I made a video on it. Um and if you look in the comment, if you look in the uh, description section, you can see that um, there's a link where you can get 10% off using my code. I do get some kickback from that. So if y'all want to help a brother out and do that, y'all can do that as well. But um, yeah, that's it. That's the, that's the Nitro. That's the Crack Nitro deck. Get you one. Stop playing. All right? So y'all already know the vibes. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. This your boy just falls and we out. One. That was for screenshot purposes. <laughs>